This is a fun, easy CNC project to make some name tags out of some very thin sheets of scrap plywood. So we've just opened up Inkscape. Nothing has been set up yet here. The first thing I do is change the properties to inches. So we're going to change the default units here to inches and this to inches. When it first comes on, it'll probably be set for pixels or some other setting, but I keep it in inches. And then the size of my cutting area is about 14 by 9. <clears throat> so this is the whole cutting area that I can do on this little 3040 CNC. So let's zoom in a little bit. make a shape. So let's just kind of make a tag like this. I like rounded edges. So we'll kind of do something like that. And then what we want to do is put our name inside of here. <clears throat> so the first thing that I do is kind of define my boundaries. So let's copy this. And we've got another shape here. Let's make this a little bit smaller so it'll fit inside of there. So I'm going to hold down the control key and then make this a little smaller. And just to make this stand out, let's change the color of this one. Make that a little bit smaller. Stretch this a little bit, and we've got our inside. <clears throat> so we're going to take this out of our shape here. So we click on the inside shape, hold the shift button down, click on the outside, come up tier to path, and do difference. So we've erased that inside area. So let's put a name inside of here. And you can do whatever font that you want to want to use. This is still set on sans serif. So we can choose whatever we want. Just for demonstration, I don't mind too much the shape. Let's write is big enough to just touch just touch our outside loop that we did. In fact, let's make this a little bit bigger too. One of the coolest things about all this design is you can change it on the fly. So we want to have want to have these just touching a little bit of our border. And let's change the color of Bob to red also. Now it looks like this is attached, but it's not. These are still separated. To attach these, copy the whole thing, go to Path, and Union. Now with the Union function, this is all one thing here. We can make this bigger or smaller. We've got Bob in there. The white areas will be cut out, the red areas will not be. So we're going to need to put some tabs in there. Let's make these yellow so they stand out a little bit. And we're going to need a bunch of these little guys. And then these need to be anywhere that one of these pieces is going to be cut. Because if you don't do these, and the CNC is going through here, this piece will come out in a chunk and it'll cause all kinds of damage. It'll lock up the cutter, it'll bind, it'll throw out. It won't be pretty. So you kind of play with these. I find they work a little bit better if they're on a flat space. Mm -hmm. 
It doesn't matter if they're crooked. We just need to have a space where they're going across for a tab. Sometimes you can get away with one, sometimes you need a little bit more than that. I think one will probably be okay for these inside the B. Need one there. And we're also going to need one on the outside here because this is being cut out of a larger piece of wood. tabs are important. Now we've got this ready to cut out. Another thing we could do is put a little ring on the end. A little ring could be put here for a keychain. This part could be used also for it. Let's go ahead and put a little circle on the end. Holding down the control key, we'll make this red so it all blends in. a little bit smaller just like we did before to erase the inside we'll make that yellow Put that on the inside and then we hold shift down click on the red path difference here's our loop and we can put that there if we want to and since we're going to put that there, we need to move these out for a minute. Because we're going to do a union thing. And if our yellow tab pieces are in there when we do the union, then they become part of our design. And we don't want that. So let's put this here. And we're going to do path, union, and now is all one piece. So this can go here. Let's put these back. best to put the tabs is just a trial and error kind of thing. So we're good here. We want to save this as an SVG. Let's go to File, Save As, give it a name, and then we're going to open it up in a program called JS Cut. We're going to use a program called JS Cut. It's at jscut.org. It's a fantastic program to work with your CNC. It can also be run locally, which is what I'm doing here. So we're going to open up program. We're going to pull in our design, our Bob keychain that we did in Inkscape. This is going to be Bob keychain. So this is what we designed. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. This is plywood. It's not as soft as some of the pine I've been using. 
so we'll go a little bit quicker but not not real fast past depth I don't want to go too deep so 0 0.0625 works pretty well then we're gonna click on our chain goes blue come over here to create operation we're gonna do an outside cut and since the plywood scrap I'm using is about a quarter of an inch we're gonna do a little bit bigger than that say 0.26 should be good I'm gonna do 0.27 just make sure it goes through we're gonna to go to generate now you can see the line was formed here so that's the cut line and the next thing we have to do is do our tabs so we click on our tabs come down here to max cut depth for the tabs and I do about half of what this is so say roughly 0 0.12 0 0.13 and then create tabs goes red and then if we go to simulate g-code we can see our cut so these will be the cutouts for what we designed you can see the tabs through here if we turn it around see the tab areas. So we'll see how long this takes. Not very long at all. 528 seconds. And then we'll save our G-code. Bob's Keychain, local file. And then here's the code right here. So we'll save this, open this up in mock, and cut out our, our keychain. Got our thin piece of scrap plywood, quarter inch plywood screwed down. I found it very easy if you just drill a hole in the corners, screw this down, and use a sacrificial piece of wood here. This piece probably should be replaced soon. See all the cuts through it. We're using a 1 8 inch cutter, and we've got our sign set up here. Another thing to keep in mind, or another good practice, once you've got your code set up in mock, physically drive it around and make sure that you're looking on the screen and you can see where the actual end mill is going so it doesn't hit any screws or go off your piece. So we're ready to start here. We've got this zeroed out. We've got our cutter set up, ready to go. Spindle on. Speed on max. go to cycle start. Very fast cut, less than 10 minutes for this whole whole cutout. Okay, we're at the end of our code. Cut just stopped. Let's move this out of the way. Vacuum this out, and we'll take this out of the uh, the wood. So after a quick vacuum, here's our cut. You can see the tabs pretty clearly on the back. So we'll cut these off. Sometimes I use a handsaw, and sometimes I use the scroll saw just to cut these through. And we'll sand them up a little bit. And go from there. A couple minutes with a scroll saw. There's our cutout. Very fast project. You 
can cut this out. This design was less than 10 minutes and a few minutes on the scroll saw, a little bit of sandpaper, and then I rubbed in some finish that can be painted or coated with anything. Easy to do. A lot of fun. Cool. Thanks very much for taking a look.